Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss how to pass a query parameter to route in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we have discussed to pass the parameter using the snapshot and the observable. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch previous part of this tutorial series. So let's understand first what is the query parameter. So if we talk about the query parameter, so these are the optional parameter basically and the combination of these is basically key value pair and it always start with the question mark. So for an example here you can see we have like when we navigate from a student to student detail page and student detail basically we are looking for the record to. Now after the question mark we are seeing edit equal to true. So basically this edit equal to true is an basically it is called the query parameter and query parameter is are the optional parameter when we pass any id like 2 that is mandatory if we will not pass this id our url or that page will give the error but query parameter is always optional either you give it or not give it will work without that also so that we are going to explore more in this video so let's understand so this was the example in the previous video where we have discussed and we know like when we click on this student we are seeing couple of the student information and when we click on this view we are seeing like uh, like the this is the information related to that particular user id this is the full detail like whatever it contain it contain all the uh, related information here now what we want now when i click on this edit so it should go on the student page but let's understand we we will uh, update only the email id so this field should be editable and we should see one button called update so that operation we are going to do so for that one what we will do let's go on the visual studio code and first what we will do let's uh, take one variable in the student detail page and this variable name i'm going to give as in edit mode so let's give like edit mode and this one i'm going to take as in boolean and let's assign default value as false so if this is false then here so for understanding purpose we are going to update only the email address so what we will say star ngf if it is equal to like if it is uh, not equal to edit mode so let's copy this means if it is not in edit mode then it should show otherwise what should show so let's make the div here and inside this div let's show this div when star ngf equal to edit mode means when we are going to update then input and the type I'm going to take as in text box. Now let's use the two way data binding. So for that one, we have to use the ng model. And here we will take this details dot email address. So this value we are going to take here. And now let's close this. Now let's see. So currently what we are looking here, let's see. Here edit mode is false. It means it will show our, uh, like it will show this text. So now let's go on the browser and see. Like currently we are uh, seeing only the normal text. So let's go here and see for this one. And we can see it is not editable currently. So that is fine. Now here, like as point of this time let's make the true and go on the browser now let's see uh, i think we are not able to see that let's see what is the issue with that so here what we have given star ngf so that is coming fine now we have made it as a okay so we we have to remove it from here and we have to keep it here so let's save this and go on the browser so if i will go on the browser we can see currently this email address is the editable now next thing what i'm going to do let's create a one more button and that button will show that button name will be update and that button will show when it is 
edit mode like when we want to edit so here let's put update and here we will show this like when it is in edit mode so let's copy it and here what I'm going to do style and background color I'm going to give as in blue and let's uh, make width also as in let's take 90 pixel now let's save this come on the browser we can see currently it is in edit mode so we can see we have a one button and we have here like editable text box now if I will obvious if I will make it as a false so what will happen it is basically uh, it is not editable we can see but this information like this I either we have to edit or not that information will come like if I will click on this edit then only those things should come so what we have to do in our student component dot HTML here for this like for this edit we have to make the changes so for this one we have to copy this first so let's take it so this is the like uh, and we are passing the id now with the id what we have to do we have to pass the query parameters so to pass the query parameter what we have to do basically like here let's put the enter so we can understand it properly here we have the query param so query so query param this is the attribute and what we will do we will we will uh, take a one variable and that variable name I will give as an edit let's suppose we are passing this is the variable variable name edit and let's make the true means when we will pass like from here like when we will click on this edit it will pass query parameter as edit and the value is the true if you want to pass multiple value here you can give like edit one for an example any value uh, parameter we can take param one and you can assign any value like one two three but as of now we are passing only one parameter and that is the edit this is the parameter name and the value of this parameter is the true so this we are passing as in query parameter so as of now when you will click on this let's if i will click on this edit you can see here we have the edit equal to true so this is the query parameter is coming but currently we are not able to see the button and edit table and the reason is because still we are not updating that value inside the component side so they here what we have to do we have to update it means we have to capture the that value so to, to capture that value what we have to do let's put here this dot edit mode so we have to update this value and another way is boolean and this dot activate route dot snapshot dot now it has one property called query param map and inside this one we have to take another get and what value we have given there we have given the parameters in edit so now when you will save this let's go on the browser if i will click on the view we can see it is not editable and even we are not seeing the query parameter here now again if i will click on the edit we will see it is updated and this is the update here and we can see like it is not still it is not what i say uh, like uh, we can see it the reason is because edit is true now another thing is what if i will update something here like one two three four and click so here you will see like when i click on this update still it is not uh, uh, like uh, we can't see it as an uh, updated value and still this value is like this so for that one what we have to do let's come up here and currently we have this update button what i want when there is any click event on this so what should happen what we will do we will make this edit mode this edit mode value as in false so that we will do that is the first thing and if you will go here let's come click on edit let's just gmail keep it if i will click update we can see but here it is updating that is fine but still we can't see edit 
equal to true. We, we can't see like it is going. So for that one, what we have to do here, there is one more thing. We have to use the router link. And for that one, what we have to do? So let's take as an router link equal to, and here we have to use the absolute path. So here student and student details. So that is the uh, first thing. And then we have to pass the parameter and that is the details dot user ID. So that we have to pass from here. So now if you will save this, go on the browser and currently we are in edit mode. So let's say .NET office at the gmail.com, click on update. You will see the value is updated and we are on the, now currently we are not in the edit mode. So this is the way like we use the uh, query parameter in our application. So what we have done as, uh, so far, like basically we have created one uh, local variable that is the edit mode and in the HTML side, according to that one, we are making either which one we have to show and the same thing we have done for the button also here. And we are getting this value using the snapshot. But again, as we have seen in the previous video, snapshot is basically take the current value, initial value. It does not refresh the ID. So instead of the snapshot, again, we can use the, uh, like the observable. So for that one, let's comment this and how we can do is this dot activated route dot query params dot subscribe. And here again, the same like we did before we can use. So here now what we have to do this dot edit mode is equal to again we have to use the boolean and here what we have to use data dot get and add it the parameter uh, value we are getting from the outside that we are uh, taking here so now let's save this again if i will go on the browser let's come on the student let's click on edit of any edit let's here we can see like here it is edit equal to true here, if you will update anything like dot at the rate gmail.com, if I will click on update, you can see here it is updated and query parameter is also uh, went from there. So this is the way we use the query parameter in the Angular with the snapshot and using the observable. If you want the source code, you can go to the GitHub link. You can find in the description section as well. So this is the way we use the uh, query parameter in the Angular. If you have, so that's it for this video. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank you.